Before we start working with JDBC, um, we've got to have a, a driver file that will help us work with our database. Okay, so if I wanted to interact from within Java with my, da with my database, I've got to make sure that I've got a driver for it. Now, driver is just like I have a software uh, a driver, a driver for printers or whatever. So I'm going to show you how did I do the driver for my SQL. On my Google or I've got Bing, okay, I type download JDBC connector for, for my SQL. You see there are different um, uh, drivers for different databases. So for instance, I can go for um, MS SQL Server. You see, I can do a, I can do a, a driver for any of the databases, or I can do a driver for um, for Postgre. Okay, but in this case, I just want it for MySQL. So you've got to have your correct driver for the database that you want to work with. And once I've done the search, then um, it will show you the search. Make sure you go to the official website for it. And once I click on download, it takes me exactly to um, download the connector. It's called, in for MySQL, it's called the J connector for Java, J for Java. And you just click download. And what it will do is it will bring um, the data, uh, it will bring that driver to you. And I have put mine under my documents. Now, if it gives you a zip file, you've got to extract your zip files. You can't work with zip files. So I've extracted it into my documents. And this is the jar file that I'm looking for. You've got to know where it is first. Okay. You've done your download. You have made sure where it is. Okay. Now you've got to connect your, you've got to identify to Java where you've saved this file. So I'm going to go to Java. And I'm going to make sure that I'm on my project folder, okay, on my project name for that, um, for where I want to work, okay. And I'll go right click and I do my build path and I go to configure build path. And now under libraries, I go to class path and then I go add external jar and I point to my jar file. You see, that's very simple. And now because I've done it for the whole project, my cursor was on project, I've done my build path for the project, all the files within the project, when I create another Java file in this project, it should automatically be associated with your um, JDBC connector. So that's the first thing that we've got to do. Okay, apply and close. And that is associating um, the Java project with the connector. So you now set up to go and create uh, files using uh, JDBC.